Hi, my name is Andrew Coolis, and I'm an attorney with the law office of Robert J. Coolis, PA. And oftentimes I meet with somebody who's considering the possibility of applying for Medicaid, and they'll ask me, well, is my home an available asset? And the answer to that is, is in Florida and really in every state, the, that your home is not an available asset when they're, when they're deciding whether you qualify for Medicaid. Now, when you have a married couple and they have a home and one spouse is going into the nursing home, the home is not considered an asset, so they don't count the value towards, towards their, their number to see if they qualify. Uh, when you have a single person, uh, as long as they sign something called an intent to return home, which means that they are saying that if the possibility ever arises that they're able to go home, it is their intention to do that, then they're able to protect their home so that it's not a countable asset. Now, when your home is not a countable asset, there are things that go along with that in the sense of you can't rent the home out if you're a single person and you're in the nursing home on Medicaid. They can't rent your home out because then the home is considered no longer available to you, and so it will no longer be a protected asset. Now, another thing about the home in Florida is that your home is also protected under the homestead law, under the homestead provisions of our Constitution so that creditors can't take your home away from you, uh, even if you owe money on any outstanding debts, even uh, nursing home debts. Now, in many states, when somebody's on, on Medicaid and they pass away, the state by law has to try and recover money from their estate to pay back whatever they paid during their stay in the nursing home that Medicaid paid for. In many states, they do go after the home at that point because the person has passed away. But in Florida, they can't do that as long as you have children or, or at least heirs. So your home is protected for those heirs under the Constitution of the state of Florida. Thank you.